Thanks for watching this brief conceptual overview of Globus. What we're going to attempt to do here is give a single sentence Globus mission statement and then break down that sentence, digging deeper into the various components of Globus. The end goal being to provide the viewer with a better understanding of what Globus is and how it works. So here it is, Globus in one sentence. Globus delivers fast, reliable, and secure data transfer and sharing directly from your own storage systems via software as a service using existing identities with the overarching goal of unifying access to data across tiers. So let's break that all down. Globus is not a cloud storage provider. We use the existing storage that you already have in place. Globus supports POSIX compliant file systems out of the box. With the addition of our various file system connectors, Globus can support many other types of storage, including popular object stores. While it is true that Globus is not a cloud storage provider, we do have connectors for various cloud storage providers. However, the philosophy is the same. We treat those cloud storage locations just like we would your own local storage, and the view we present is the same regardless of storage type. From file system directory to object store bucket, we make them all appear as a single unified view called a Globus collection. But it's not just about the various storage types. It's also about where that storage exists. We already touched on how Globus can be used with cloud storage, and Globus's use in large-scale HPC clusters is well known. But Globus is also an effective data management tool for personal computers, including desktop workstations and laptops, mass storage data carousels, and even instrumentation such as cryo-electron microscopes, light sheet microscopes, functional MRI, and genome sequencers. Globus is even in place within many national computational resources and facilities. The use of Globus for data management does indeed span all tiers. From the user perspective, our web app provides an intuitive software as a service graphical user interface for transfers and collection control. However, it is really a platform as a service model that provides the foundation of the Globus user experience. The Globus command line interface, API sets, and our Python SDK provide a platform for building science gateways, portals, and publication services. Now you can automate your research workflows and ensure those that need access to the data have it in ways they are familiar with. Whether you choose to manage your data with a web-based application, the command line interface, or even with your own applications, we present a single concise view of your data, as well as mechanisms to transfer and share that data, regardless of the file system type or infrastructure where the data resides. It is also important to note that when using the web-based application, the command line interface, or the Globus APIs. The communication is between those interfaces and the Globus service via secure HTTPS protocols. This communication channel is separate and distinct from the control channel the Globus service uses to communicate with the endpoints and the data channel that the endpoints use to transfer files between each other. The latter two we will discuss in the following slides. In fact, Globus is not a pure platform as a service model, but a hybrid. This hybrid model consists of our cloud hosted service and a locally installed Globus client called Globus Connect. Our cloud service is hosted on Amazon AWS and is globally accessible. It exists in the Globus control domain, meaning that it is maintained and monitored by the Globus team and accessed by you with the user clients mentioned in the previous slide. To reiterate, this picture does not show the connection between those user clients and the Globus service, and we'll see in the next slide that the connection between user clients and the Globus service need not be persistent. In order to provide a uniform view of many different storage types, we abstract that storage in what we refer to as a collection. Globus Connect is software that is installed locally by the storage administrator to instantiate the collection. Globus Connect comes in two flavors. Globus Connect Server for multi-user Linux-based systems, and Globus Connect Personal, which can be installed by end users on their Windows, Mac OS, or Linux-based laptops or desktops. By keeping the software that touches local storage in a separate domain called the Endpoint Control Domain, end users or local storage administrators can rest assured that they are always in secure control of their data and in full control of the administration and local monitoring functionality of their Globus collections. 
All Globus transfers occur between a source and destination collection. The transfer of the files and directories happens via a dedicated data channel. This data channel is a direct connection between the source and destination collections. The data does not flow through the Globus cloud service, nor is there a need for a data relay or staging transfer. With Globus, you can avoid the commonly used two-hop transfer, where data is first pushed up to a cloud-hosted storage and then pulled back down. Not only can Globus effectively cut your overall transfer times in half, you can avoid prohibitively expensive tertiary storage costs for the transfer of large data sets. In fact, Globus can reduce your transfer times even more dramatically. The Globus data channel, which may be encrypted, uses a protocol called Grid FTP, which, in conjunction with a proper network architecture, can achieve transfer speeds of roughly 20 times SCP. The Globus service is the orchestrator and babysitter of the transfer. A user can initiate a transfer between any two collections they have access to via the Globus service. For instance, a user could be on their laptop at home and initiate a transfer between an instrument in their lab and a computing cluster across campus for later analysis of the data. Once a transfer is initiated, the user does not need to remain logged into the Globus service. Globus handles the monitoring. If there is a network glitch, Globus will pick up where the transfer left off when the connection is restored. Checksumming ensures that the file that was delivered to the destination was indeed the file that was sent from the source. If there is a mismatch, Globus will resend the file until successful. A user may log out and log back in at any time to check the progress of the transfer and upon completion will receive an email indicating transfer success. For large-scale transfers that may take days or weeks to complete, the fire and forget capabilities that the Globus service provides can be a lifesaver. On the topic of security, there are three points that require user authentication. The first is when the user authenticates to the Globus service by logging into the Globus web app or other client such as the command line interface. This is done using existing institutional identities listed in the Globus login pulldown or even via Google or ORCID identities. There is no need for yet another username and password to use Globus. The other points are when the user accesses the source and destination collections. Here, the user accesses the local collections using the authentication methods native to the storage systems associated with Globus Connect. These are often the user's institutional identities as well. Sharing is a specialized transfer use case only available to subscribing institutions. A Globus subscriber sets sharing permissions on their source collection. These permissions specify read or read-write access to particular directories on the source collection and can be granted to specific Globus users or groups of Globus users using the Globus Groups feature. This grant of access permissions is called a guest collection and can span institutional boundaries. When an external user is granted access to a guest collection, Globus manages overlay permissions, which allows that external user the ability to pull files from or push files to the guest collection under the strict control of the Globus subscriber managing that guest collection. As with the previous transfer use case, all of the transfer speed and monitoring features of Globus are in place. This mechanism empowers the researchers at subscribing Globus institutions with a simple and secure tool for collaboration. We hope this brief video was able to give you additional insight into the functionality, power, and convenience that Globus can provide. Thanks for watching.